Hi, in this video we're going to find the limit as x approaches infinity of x minus the square root of x. So there's a couple ways to do this. So one, you can just use intuition. Uh, if you think about it, x grows much faster than the square root of x. And so when x approaches infinity, this is getting much bigger uh, than this. So basically, you're going to get infinity as an answer. Okay, you're going to get infinity as an answer. If you're not convinced, you can actually do some algebra um, to show the work. Let, let me show you. So this is the limit. And the algebra will give you an answer that is a little bit more convincing, perhaps, if that didn't make sense. So the trick is to think about this as a fraction over 1. And then you can rationalize basically multiplying by x plus the square root of x, just switching the sign. Right, basically multiplying by 1. And this is the limit as x approaches infinity. So now we can use the difference of squares formula, right? This is a minus b, a plus b, which is a squared minus b squared, right? This is a squared minus b squared. So it'll be x squared minus the square root of x squared, which is just x, over, and then here we have x plus the square root of x. Then what you can do is you can divide everything by x. Basically, you can multiply by 1 over x times over 1 over x. You're basically multiplying by 1. Basically, it means you're dividing each term by x because now you're going to multiply by 1 over x and distribute here. So this is the limit. And this is a common technique, by the way. So this is much harder, but this is a technique that's worth knowing because this comes up in other limits. So distributing through, we have x squared over x minus x over x over x over x plus square root of x over x, right? Just distributing through the x, going pretty quick here. This is the limit as x approaches infinity. x squared over x is just x, minus 1. Here we get 1 plus the square root of x over x is 1 over the square root of x. How do I do that? Uh, like this, square root of x over x is x to the 1 half over x and you subtract boom that's a way to justify it or you can just think of it as square root of x over x is the square root of x and then the square root of x square root of x 1 over square root of x that works as well multiple ways to reason it in your mind but now it's more obvious that's the point you see this is going to approach 0 this is just a 1 and this clearly approaches infinity so you can see now this piece approaches zero and the top approaches infinity, so you get infinity. So it's a little bit more clear than just looking at it up here and getting the answer, but um, whatever works. I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world. Good luck.